Hey everybody, I'm here today to talk to you about four tips for driving an automatic car. In this video, I will be giving you four specific pieces of advice that you can keep in mind when you are driving an automatic car. So let's get right to it. Tip number one, always come to a complete stop when you are switching from drive to reverse or when you are switching from reverse to drive. So right now I am currently in drive and I'm gonna release my foot off of the brake and I'm moving forward. If I want to switch to reverse, I'm gonna put my foot down on the brake and come to a complete stop just like that and then I can switch to reverse. Now I'm gonna go in reverse I'm releasing my foot off of the brake and moving backwards and if I want to go to drive I'm going to push down on the brake come to a complete stop just like that and then I can switch to drive so tip number one is to always come to a complete stop when you are switching from drive to reverse or when you are switching from reverse to drive tip number two always engage your emergency brake when you are parking your car just like that. Now many people think that this is unnecessary when you are driving an automatic car. However, it is absolutely possible for your parking brake to fail or not work properly. And if your parking brake fails or stops working properly, then your emergency brake will be the thing that prevents your car from rolling away. So tip number two is to always engage your emergency brake when you are parking the car. Tip number three. Always engage the emergency brake before putting the shift lever in park. So right now I am in drive and I'm going to release the brake, start moving forward. And let's say that I wanted to park here. I will bring the car to a complete stop. Then I will engage the emergency brake first, just like that. And then I will put the shift lever in park just like that. So tip number three is to always engage the emergency brake before putting the shift lever in park. Tip number four, don't be afraid to use manual transmission mode if your car has it available. Right now I am in drive and if you take a look at the dashboard you can see that it says D for drive. Now, if I take the gear selector and I push it to the left, it will bring the transmission into manual mode. And if you take a look at the dash, you can see that it says M1, which stands for manual transmission mode, and it tells me that I am currently in first gear. So, for someone that doesn't know how a manual transmission works, or how the manual transmission mode in an automatic transmission works, it can be kind of scary going into this mode, the manual mode. But, uh, you know, you should definitely not be afraid to use the manual manual mode on an automatic transmission. Test it out, figure out how it works, um, and don't be afraid to use it. And that's basically it. In this video I have gone over four tips for driving an automatic car. All of these tips are geared towards cars with automatic transmissions, so keep them in mind when you are driving an automatic car. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.